This is my yard machines, 4.5 horsepower, 21 inch snowblower. It's a year 2002. As you can see, I took it all apart because I think after all these years, I should probably take it apart and see if there's anything wrong with it. Maybe lubricate a few parts. Maybe get the carburetor off of there. Take a look. See if it needs to be cleaned. As you can see, I already took most of the cowling and the metal that covers the engine. I took that off already just to take a look at it. This is a Tecumseh two-cycle engine with an electric start. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a model HSK 845 and I know it's a year 2002. You have to be able to know the year to get parts because I guess it differs from year to year. This is the black plastic cover that came off the top of the snowblower. Here you can see the metal plate that has the ignition switch, the primer bulb, the cover to the spark plug. Also that came through there, what came through there was the uh, pull cord. I had to take that off, take the handle off to get it through. I knotted it so it wouldn't get pulled in to the engine and I wouldn't be able to get it out. I also had to unbolt the electric start from this metal plate. As you can see I'm going to have to take the primer cover, the primer tube that goes to the carburetor. I'm going to have to take that off the carburetor and it goes to the primer bulb in order to remove the carburetor and see if it needs cleaning. All right, I'm working on the snow blower. We have smaller bolt, bolts up on the top that also hold the black thing on. There's a longer one single bolt on the bottom. You can see it. It goes there. You come around the front. You have several small bolts that come in here to hold the black thing on. Then up on this side, before you put the black thing on, you put one single bolt there uh, next to the gas tank. We'll come back around. I had to take the hood off to get the black cowling off. In order to take off the carburetor, I'm going to have to take the primer tubing off the side of the carburetor that goes to the primer bulb down there. Then I'll be able to unbolt the carburetor, which has a single linkage to the governor. The governor comes in from underneath. The linkage comes in from underneath and then hooks over the top of the carburetor throttle. This wire goes to the ignition switch. And this bolts up underneath the metal plate with two bolts. Also, 
I had to remove these two main bolts here to get the red cowling off the top, the red plate. That's the way it looks. I got the primer bulb hose off. So now I can proceed with trying to get the carburetor off. It looks like there's two Allen type bolts that bolted on to the head here. I'm going to see if I can first remove the fuel line which looks like it doesn't have much of a uh, slack in it so I have to try not to wreck the end of this so I don't have to cut it and again the carburetor is attached only by a little governor here as you can see it moves the throttle and once I unbolt those two bolts, it should come right off. Okay, I got the carb off. When I took this off, the fuel line, I damaged the end of this fuel line just a little bit, but not too bad. I might have to trim a, a hair off of there. It was kind of hard to get off. As you can see, the gasket is stuck there to the head. I might be able to reuse it, but I'm going to see if I can get a new one. There's a spacer between the carb and the motor. You can see there's like squiggly lines on this spacer. Those go towards the motor. The other side's like a, a circle line. And that goes towards the carburetor. So the spacer would go back on there like that. Now when I took this thing off, I had to use an Allen wrench. 530 seconds but the way this carb is made it's extremely hard to get at those bolts with an allen wrench that's of the normal configuration as that one is because there's so little space between the hole that holds it on and the, ba and the body of the carburetor as you can see the space here is extremely tight but I was able to get in there just enough to loosen them and get them off. I guess next I'm going to have to take this thing apart and see if it needs anything or if I can clean it up or maybe put some new parts in it.